My latest spinal research within our uh, research team involves uh, a lot of decision-making uh, protocols being developed using artificial intelligence. We are currently uh, working on technologies and ways to use artificial intelligence in order to predict so many different outcomes, teaching uh, the artificial intelligence programs to recognize fracture patterns on x-rays, to recognize uh, when there's a tumor or not a tumor in an x-ray or an MRI, as well as various other applications. This research uh, will advance uh, the field of spinal surgery uh, as it will enable practitioners to make decisions based on individualized statistics. What is interesting about artificial intelligence, uh, as well as the use of big data, is that huge amounts of data can be inputted into these algorithms. What the research and the projects uh, that we're working on now, we will be able to input individual patient-specific data and have it calculate a customized prediction of the patient's outcome, their infection or complication risk, and ultimately even guide individual surgical decisions to be made. One uh, of the more simple examples is called natural language processing. For instance, we did a study looking at the presence of a dural tear or a, uh, a spinal fluid leak uh, in surgical reports uh, for patients who had undergone lumbar surgery. The actual reporting that was found through coding was not very reliable. The computer program actually learned the keywords and demonstrated that the dural tears were grossly underreported. This is an entirely new way of reporting complications in the field of medicine and particularly within orthopedics. We are working through our artificial intelligence center uh, on methods to implement this as a quality and safety standard uh, in addition to a research platform. Artificial intelligence will change the decision making. Now this is a point of contention within the field. There is going to be a struggle between the individual physician who wants to make decisions based on their information, maybe the evidence, maybe on how they were trained 20, 30 years ago. This will be pit against the algorithms and the recommendations based on AI that will be updated and fine-tuned based on everyone's data who is uh, collecting and, and uh, contributing to these databases. So it may be a decision that is suggested that's very different than we would have uh, selected on our own. It may be different than the patient's um, preference or values, and this has to be considered uh, when we are uh, engaging in shared decision making. But certainly we expect artificial intelligence to give us a very objective and scientific analysis of a patient's situation and what treatment or no treatment uh, might be recommended.